Okay. Good evening, Chairman and Board. My name is Steve Martini. I'm an associate with the Schwing Group, and I'll be presenting the TODN South Avenue Redevelopment Plan Amendment, which essentially is an expansion of the redevelopment area. So just to give a quick background, uh, prior to this amendment, the plan area consisted of block 645, lots 1 through 28, and City Council adopted a resolution in February 16th of this year, which designated uh, the following properties as area needed redevelopment. Block 616, lots 1, 2, and 3. Block 612, lots 1, 2, 3, and 6. Block 622, Watts 1, 2, and 17, and block 623, lots 1 through 5 and 24. City Council authorized the planning board to prepare a plan for the for this area uh, based on the area's proximity of TODN South Avenue and the development pattern forecasted for this area. It was determined that uh, the TODN South Avenue pre development area should be expanded to. Uh, incorporate these properties and in effect this is the third amendment to this plan as it was amended in 2019 and 2020. so in gray is the original start uh redevelopment area between um beckerman street to the south netherwood station to the to the north and the train tracks in south avenue on either side uh east and west so the expanded area, which you can see is in red, is 16 properties that I mentioned, just mentioned before, um, that will be expanding the TODN South area. And the area need, as I mentioned, was approved by this board on December 17th of last year and city council designated it on February 16th of this year. So in the, uh, the amendments that been of the plan that's been provided to you, everything's in red line uh, for, to, for comparison purposes. Maps have been re replaced to reflect the new expanded redevelopment area. Uh, most of the edits e either are just consisting of um, the new properties that are included or, any, or just minor editorial language changes. Um, on page eight, uh, Building deterioration was added as an issue uh, faced during the redevelopment study. Uh, a 2020 master plan consistency section was added under section 3.3, which is compatibility with state and local plans, since uh, obviously this plan was done before the 2020 master plan. So this that was just added to show that it's consistent with the current master plan. Uh, on page 16, this is the bulk table. The minimum lot size has been decreased from 20,000 square feet to 10 because we felt that 20,000 is a large area and not many of the lots that have been included now fulfill the 20,000 square feet. So we reduced it to 10 and that's shown on the bulk table that's on page 16 and on the screen right now. A couple more changes that were, that were done with this amendment. Uh, general standards on page 18. Uh, T was added, which is that refuse containment areas shall be located away from street view and enclosed by a fence. And lastly, although not redlined, images that were located at the bottom of pages 16, 18, 19 have been removed. Also, a photo on page 5 was removed. And I'll just show these just for comparison because I took them out and I didn't, obviously, didn't redline them. So these are the, this is from the plan prior, these images were removed because we felt that the images don't no longer depict what the redevelopment plan is trying to achieve. And some of them, after reviewing them, could be misleading or confusing. So we felt that we should just just eliminate them altogether. So all, any of those images that I just showed on those previous pages have been eliminated. And that's all the the amendments that are proposed with this plan expansion. Thank you.